Welcome to the joy of yoga. If you want to learn how to do this, but thought that you never could, then stick around because we're going to show you exactly how you can. Okay, so like we've said before, it's always best to get warmed up. It will really help you nail these poses. So let's go ahead and stand up at the top of our mat. We'll each take our own uh, stretches right now. We're going to start off with three what are called sun salutations. So we're going to stand nice and tall, feet are under the hips. Um, the arches are lifting, kneecaps are lifted. My inner thighs are rolling in and back while my tailbone is pushing down and forward. Shoulders rolled back, down away from the ears, palms forward. This is a really strong stance here, mountain pose. You should feel strong, grounded, but lifted. Inhale, reaching the arms up nice and tall. You can even give yourself a back bend here. Exhale, swan dive down bringing the hands to your feet or your shins, wherever you're at in your practice. Inhale, halfway rise. So we're gonna flat back here. My tailbone is reaching away from my scalp. Exhale, forward fold, planting the hands. I'm gonna step my feet back into a high plank. Inhale, shift onto my tiptoes. Exhale, bend halfway. Inhale, reach through, pulling my chest up. My legs are activated. They're not just plopped on the ground and pressing into the tops of my feet. And exhale, roll over the toes if you can to push the hips back and away, bringing the heels to the floor. Take a few breaths here and pedal out the feet. Do what feels good for you. So we'll do that two more times. You can move on your own. Try to move with your breath. So complete the pose at the completion of your exhale or inhale. We're gonna inhale, bend the knees, looking at the top of our mat. Exhale, step or hop to the front, and then reach forward to a nice forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise. And exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, folding forward, plant the palms, step the feet back, shift forward. As you can see, my shoulders go to where my elbows are. Inhale, pulling that chest through. My shoulders aren't forward here, I'm really reaching them back. And exhale, rolling over those toes, pressing back to your down dog, taking a few breaths here. You can even bend the knees, pressing the hips out and away. Stretching the side body, whatever feels good for you. And then when you're ready, inhale, bend those knees, step or hop to the front of your mat, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, all the way rise. And exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, flat back. You can bring your hands to your shins if you need to. Exhale, plant the hands. Step the feet back. High plank. Whoa, whoa. Chaturanga, I was doing that wrong. <laughs> that was rolled right to up dog. And exhale, downward dog. All right, so now we're gonna bring our knees to the mat. Go ahead and flip over onto your back. We're gonna plant the feet about hips distance apart. You want to be able to just reach your heel with your tip, with the tips of your fingers. Setting up for our bridge here. I'm going to activate my legs. I'm squeezing that imaginary ball with my thighs. And exhale, I'm going to lift my tailbone up, pressing the floor away with my feet. Really gives me some extra arch in my upper back. And try to take that chin up a little bit so you keep space in your neck and breathe for a moment, just hold here. Keep reaching, keep rising. And exhale one vertebrae at a time, slowly lower down. 
And now we'll do that one more time each, but this time we're gonna take a leg up on each one. If where you were at in the bridge with both feet planted was enough for you, go ahead, stay there. If you wanna take it a step up, follow along with us. And then whenever you're ready, pressing that tailbone up, you can bring the shoulders underneath the spine, really activating those legs. If you wanna adjust the feet a little bit, then inhale, raise that right leg up. Trying to keep everything nice and square. we so pressing, lifting. You can even bend your knee if that's a little bit easier for you. A little shake is good. You gotta get some shake action. <laughs> Means you're really trying. And exhale, slowly lower down. Nice. Whew. All right, take a breath here. Reset if you need to. Making sure your foundation is good. And then when you're ready, lifting that tailbone, pressing the ground away, clasping the hands if you have that freedom in your shoulders, and lift that leg up nice and tall. You can floint, flex, or point. <laughs> flex, point, or floint. <laughs> it is up to you. Breathe, hips are square. Whew. Breathing, keep reaching. And exhale, slowly lower down. Beautiful, you can give a nice little hug. Hug the knees a little bit, rock side to side. Now we're gonna lay all the way out and come into what's called a hollow body. So to get to a hollow body from laying down, I'm gonna tuck my ribs and roll my shoulders forward. Then I'm gonna squeeze and lift my legs up together. So now my, the small of my back is really pressing into the mat here and I'm lifted. And then I'm gonna take my right leg up and then switch and scissor. Beautiful and keep holding, keep breathing. If you need to lower your shoulders and just stay switching here, that's okay too. Do what feels good for you. And a couple more. Nice, and then go ahead and tuck those knees into your chest. And then now taking them straight back out again, coming back to that hollow body. If it's an option for you, we're gonna lay, raise the legs up together and down and back up. And, down. and two more times, one. And two. If that was really tough for you, you can always try to keep your, your knees bent and just tap the toes. But there's always modifications and there's always progression. So whatever you need to find that works for you is all right. So now we're gonna bring our mats together again and do a couple of partner stretches. So now we're gonna work on some core and back conditioning. Deborah and I are gonna lay side by side, bringing our hips, like literally left hip to left hip, and lay all the way back. Um, keeping your knees slightly bent, you can actually take your arm through your partner's knees, grab hands, so you're nice and secure here. Then we're gonna take our legs straight out. And then now we're gonna go for some partner sit-ups. So we're gonna inhale, lift the legs, lift the bottom off the floor, switch sides, and then slowly lower our legs down. I don't like to touch the floor though, hover, and lift back up, taking up the hips, switching sides, and back down. So let's do that a couple more times. I feel like if you need to, maybe you can keep your knees bent. There we go, yeah, it makes it a little easier. Tap the toes and lift back up. There's always modifications. And this also helps you to learn how to sync with your partner. We're doing similar movements that don't really require one another to be here, but just practicing side by side, moving together really helps. And this is the last one. Go ahead and lower down. Boom. So now we'll go ahead and sit up and come back to back. That was easy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, and then here, take your legs straight out in front of you, flexing the toes, keeping the legs really activated. We use our hamstrings a lot in, in acro. Let's inhale the arms up. One person will grab the opposite person's 
uh, wrists here and start to fold forward, taking their wrists with them. How's that for you, Deborah? A little more? Okay. Always communicate here, especially when you have somebody and you're like in control of their stretch, you wanna make sure that you're not going past their comfort zone. Always breathing, always working with your breath. If you're the one resting back, you can lay your head back. And then inhale back up to center, switching hands. And then opposite person folds forward while the other person lays back. Is that okay on you, Deb? I feel like I'm taking your skin with my skin. <laughs> yeah. And breathe and relax. Beautiful. And let's go ahead and sit up nice and slow. And then we can both take our own little forward folds here, whatever feels nice for you. Wonderful. So now we're gonna show you how to get up into high flying whale. Um, this one is a little bit different because we're not bone stacking so much anymore. Kind of like with a uh, straddle throne, our legs are coming out of our midline, but we're gonna use that counterbalance of pulling to keep stable. So I'm gonna come into like what I call like zero base, <laughs> base zero. This is like your basic position on your back. Deb is gonna step one foot in front of each of my shoulders. If you're like super tall or a lot taller than your base, you can always like step out a lot farther and even straddle your legs a little bit wider, which will lower your back to them. I'm gonna take Deb's ankles in my hand and raise my feet up together behind her. She can do a truss fall here, or she can grab my feet and lay back, placing the middle of her shoulder blades right onto my feet. Hips forward, laying the chest back, yeah. Now she's gonna take her arms up overhead, or you can always cross your arms uh, on your chest, whatever feels good for you. Now this is the tricky part. If I just try to lift her legs up, that's gonna be a lot of weight in my arms and I'm not like a man. man, men have a lot of arm strength. So what I need to do is push my legs away from my body, which takes her weight out, allowing me to actually lift her legs up a little bit easier since we have more weight in our legs and we do our torso. Now here you can drop your bottom, get like a nice stretch, or you can even raise your bottom up and try to go to a nice full stretch. I can really point my toes here. And as you can see, she can really draw back. I'm pulling her ankles towards my face while I push my feet away from me. That's creating that tension. If I try to do too much here, it's now a lot of weight in my legs. To set her down, I'm gonna bring her feet back to the floor, let go of the ankles. And I'm gonna give her an extra push with my toes and be ready to catch her if she were to fall back. Let go of the ankles. That happens so many times that the base does not let go and the flyer like face plants just about. <laughs> like, right? Yeah, that happens. So now again, I like to play, switch out, try the different roles. Deb is gonna, is gonna base me now. And then, so now I'm gonna come around facing away from Deborah. Deborah step one foot in front of each shoulder here. She's gonna just place like a C grip with her hands right up against the backs of my ankles. I feel like I'm just gonna trust fall here. So I bring my hips forward, knees forward, and then she's close enough that she's right there making a little adjustment. Arms come up overhead. When she's ready, she's gonna press my torso out away from her, which lifts my legs together. Beautiful. So as you can see, she's just using that C grip to kind of scoop my legs up instead of like death gripping them. <laughs> so here I feel really good. She can point her toes. That really gives me an awesome back stretch here, chest opener. Mm. And then, yeah. And then to set me back down, she's gonna bring my feet to the floor. Let go of the ankles and she's gonna give me a nice pop up off the back. Cool. All right, so now we're gonna show you some fun things that you can do from High Flying Whale um, as like an added workout challenge. 
I like to trust fall, it's fun. Okay, arms up overhead. Take the weight out. Beautiful. Now she's going to tap which side she wants to take out. So she's gonna remove a foot. Take that one out. So I get a little extra tight in my back. She's gonna put her foot right up into my armpit. Your toes a little bit more forward. Yeah, more towards you. There we go. And then the other. And then I can clasp my hands here and that'll help me get a nice grip. And she's really pointing her toes. And I'm gonna lift my legs. Boom. Did you see, hear that? My hips are popping. Boom. And then you can just step the legs down or we can try to come back. Can we do it? Yes, we can. Woo! <laughs> As I like almost throw myself off your legs <laughs> with my expression. <laughs> nice. Um, so there are so many fun things to do from each and every pose. You can get into one from the next, make up some fun things on your own even. Um, I know there's a few flows I've come up with and yeah. I'm sure Deborah <laughs> as well on the spot. Like, let's just see, can we take our foot here and get to this and do that? And let's try. Um, so we're going to try a fun little flow called Swimming Mermaid, which you can get to from High Flying Whale. We've never done this before together. <laughs> so now we're going to show you a really fun thing that you can do from High Flying Whale. We're just practicing, you know, again, everything's all made up. You can discover your own new fun things to do each time. High Flying Whale, she's going to step in front of me. She's been doing what I call a trust fall. Um, my, my legs are right there. Obviously it's hard because they're behind her so she can't really see them and it takes a second before we connect so there is that moment of scariness. But what she does to trust fall, she bends the knees, pushes the hips forward and as you can see that already brings her shoulders to like a few inches from my feet. Now she brings her shoulders rest of the way down and I'm watching her back the whole time so I know right where to set them as she moves through. You mind really arching back for me please? There we go. So now we're gonna step into our swimming mermaid, half of a swimming mermaid, because I don't have the man strength to pull her through to bird on hands. You'll see what I mean in just a second. Grabs the feet, pulling the chest through. Nice. Oh, and then, right? <laughs> ba -ba. <laughs> so actually, wait a second. This gives me your hips. Put your, put your hands back on my feet. Right there. I'm like, can I get your hips now? <laughs> you gotta do that. <laughs> I, can't. <laughs> I can't, I can't do it. So <laughs> depending on body sizes, some things are more accessible than others. We're so matched in height that her trying to get through my legs and then me have enough space to scoop her hips and pick her up is like, I don't have that man strength that like, brrr, I can't just muscle her up. So. We're doing what we can with what we have. And that's what really matters. So please don't get discouraged if you found something more difficult than another. It's okay, keep playing. <laughs> Just keep, keep trying, keep having fun. <laughs> Thank you for playing with us. We had so much fun as usual and we hope that you are as well. Uh, please subscribe. We have so many more other yoga challenge how-to videos coming your way. We're seriously gonna debunk them. Anybody can do this, it does not matter. You can check out uh, Deborah and my, we have links uh, underneath this video in the description. Check out my YouTube channel, Deborah's Instagram account. You'll definitely be seeing more of us together. Um, and we hope to see more of you as well. Thanks so much.